High school cheerleader Ariel Olivar has gone viral for the following trick. Let's take a look. We gotta keep. I want to play this like a couple times. I was times. gonna say, can we, can we yeah, watch that again? Like, let's let's do it. Like because and, like, I can break it. down exactly what's happening here. We are ready. So she pats the air, so it makes it look like there's something there, and then she's. It's all body control. See, she's holding. Oh my god, it's so much body it's, control. It's body control where she's holding her leg in that one place. Wait, wait, wait like, look, I missed it. Like it's. See, tapping, and then she puts her foot right where she taps. Where does she hold her leg? I, she just you? puts it in the air. She's just holding her leg in the air. But look at that. But she has a lot of like. That's all core control right there. She's holding oh, it in no, the same place. Dude, she's floating in the while air while she's jumping off of it. It's very cool. Yeah, but I know exactly. I haven't how seen she's done. something like this this physically impressive since I was really into Michael Jackson moonwalking. All right, well then let me tell you something. You haven't watched Chris Angel Mind Freak because that's kind of what he did on his show. Really, I believe it was on FX. He would do that. Maybe A and E. Yeah, he just did shit like that all the time, or he would mm -hmm. pretend like he was levitating, and then you know you'd go on YouTube and find out. Spoiler alert: How does he levitate? How does it work? Um, you may be familiar also when you go to certain like tourist areas, you'll see people levitate. Like they're sitting. I actually have a photo. I have never been to a tourist area where people are. What? No, but this is the thing. You're impressed. You're like, how is he? How is he doing it? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Let is me explain. Is there another angle? No, this is. That girl looks so disturbed by this. This is what's happening. I'll tell you what's happening here. So this is another one of those parlor tricks. The thing that's covered in flowers is like a metal uh, slat. That's just like a metal slat on the bottom. The pole actually goes. So the pole that he's holding goes through his sleeve. We can come back to my one because it's easier to explain. So the pole that he's holding goes through his sleeve. It's like it's it's it looks like it's just one thing that he's holding, but actually goes through his sleeve and then turn and then on the bottom there's like a little chair thing right there. And then the way that they set it up is that they throw a whole uh, like sheet over their heads while they're getting on there. And then when they rip the sheet back, it looks like they're just sitting in the air holding a pole, but lit. But they're I actually just sitting the on a stool. I love people who get there early and they see them setting up. It just you can, ruins the whole thing. You can, like, oh, you dick. You can look it up on YouTube. You can see basically. Like this trick spoiled, where there's just some guy that knows what this guy is doing. I don't know why he's such a buzzkill, but also I did totally watch on YouTube because I was curious. Yeah. And he just gets there early and watches them set up in different parts of the world, yeah. and um, he shows exactly how it's done. So I thought of that when I was watching this girl do her trick, which is so cool, but it's all just an optical illusion. And I just thought of the um cult. And how they would levitate, oh, yeah. yeah, Ohm. Yeah, I was, I was watching the Murder with Friends that's coming out this week. Uh huh. Actually, it's coming out next. It's week. coming out next week, and like how they would levitate if they only knew. <laughs> if they only like, because because we were talking it's about so funny how they this, would, this. They would just jump up, and you see in all their pictures, they're like, yeah. And they would make it look like they're levitating, yeah. but um, if they had only known, you could just buy a metal, a little metal seat, and hold it, yeah, and just. Sit easy. They invented metal after the cult, so yeah, it <laughs> didn't it didn't exist yeah. before 1995. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any weird parlor tricks like this? Anything yeah. cool that you um, can do? You can go to my one shot. So no, why are you doing that? That's not a trick. That makes yeah. people not want to hang out with you. Yeah. That's, that's my, not a that's, trick. Do you have any tricks? Did you notice the trick that the cheerleader was doing? It brought people in. She was dancing. People were this laughing. Takes people if you out. do that, this takes people out. People leave you, Amir. Yeah, they don't want to hang out with that's, the guy that I does the I stopped doing thing. it in like fifth grade because it was cool in like from like third to fourth grade, yeah. and then like by fifth grade is like when like everyone's just like getting more self-conscious about themselves. So I stopped doing it. Yeah. The only thing I have, uh, it's not even a trick. My thumbs are weird. I don't okay, know. Okay, why do you have to have a thumb trick too? Well, it's just that my thumbs are, they no, look okay, weird. Okay, you just chastised me for for doing something gross. <laughs> but I didn't. And like now you did something even grosser. Fair point. I was going to be defensive, but I think you made a fair point there. Um, no, I think you have some tricks. You've done stuff. I did actually convince my entire kindergarten that I could levitate. But that's just because we were kids and they were stupid. Like I just told them, and if you tell enough people one thing, and then they start spreading yeah. the rumors for you, yeah. people like start believing you, it. You had like a hundred kittens, and you were yeah. going to give the kittens. Yeah, yeah, out. yeah. So what happened was I was standing in line. We were waiting in line to go into kindergarten, and I it was a kindergarten that was affiliated with the church that my dad had at the time. So I don't know why I needed any more attention than like I already had just because of going to this preschool, and or kindergarten preschool. I I, I don't know what the difference was, but I was very little, and we were standing in line, and I turned to the 
this girl out of nowhere and I was like, do you see, I just like flew a little bit. I just, you know, my like, feet lifted up, oh I just flew. God. And she was like, what? I was like, yeah, did you, didn't you just see that? I just flew a little bit. And there's gotta be some sort of psychological trick that I didn't know I was playing on this girl. Cause she was like, I did see that. Then she started telling her friends and then little by little, it got this rumor that I could fly a little bit only in yeah. line and only when I was like standing yeah. up and I felt like a king. Yeah. And I felt like a total king and then I got in trouble for lying. But. I was really into Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid and I tried for so hard to fly. Yeah. I and it just never worked. And, and it was this really girl frustrating. kind of achieved it, you know? Yeah. It looks like she is levitating in the air. And also it looks like she's having a great time doing it. And that's, I never could achieve that because I was just lying to people. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad this video came out though. We needed something like that. That's, a, that's a good viral video. I know, this is a great viral video. I'm just counting down the stories that we had. We did three stories that were pretty heavy today. And then on the fourth one, we're finally coming around to something positive yeah. and going viral for a legitimately cool reason. Yeah. And now what I think is gonna happen is that um, since this did go viral, a lot of people are gonna attempt it and we're gonna see a lot of people fail. What's the challenge gonna be called? The invisible box challenge? I think invisible box challenge is what I'm predicting. Hashtag invisible box challenge. And if you see anything impressive, please feel free to share them with us on our Twitter. At the, at, yeah. Is it at the real pop trigger? You can catch me at my exanga. Yeah. Did that joke work in your head? No, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it from us. We wanna hear about your parlor tricks. We wanna hear about your parlor tricks. Do you have any cool tricks? What did you think about the invisible box challenge? You know anyone that has attempted it? Uh, have you ever lied about flying? Do you wish you could fly? All of these things we would like to hear from you. <laughs> we wanna hear if you liked it. We wanna, wanna hear fly. from you. Um, and we will see you next time. <laughs>